I just started with just an idea. <laughs> and I have an idea of like, I just wanted to serve kids and I just wanted to help as many families as possible. I um, first started off as a teacher. So I graduated from University of Florida with a master's degree in education and I started teaching in Gainesville. So I taught for almost eight years and I taught kindergarten, pre-K and first grade. And during that time, whenever I was teaching, I just felt like I needed to be doing more. And I met somebody who was a parent and she had a child who had just come out of foster care and um, we went through a lot of struggles together. And I just asked her one day, I was like, what do you do for a living? And she said that she was a behavior analyst. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and so I researched it and then she invited me to come to her clinic. So she, they had just started a clinic in Gainesville and I went there and was just enthralled with ABA and I immediately started classes that night for my certification program and so that took two years so the certification program to become a behavior analyst takes two years and a lot of hours and then you have to pass a really huge test and so um, in 2015 I passed the behavior um, analyst certification board exam and I became a behavior analyst. ABA therapy is applied behavior analysis therapy and it is the study of human behavior and how we learn and grow. So it is the study of how an organism learns through their environment. So we look at kids and how they're learning and manipulate their environment to teach them in different ways. Elevate got started in 2018. Um, when I came to Chattanooga, there wasn't a whole lot of ABA going on so there was only two other clinics in town and so I just started Elevate. Um, we only had 1200 square feet to start and we thought we were gonna stay there for a while but then it grew and in a year we expanded to um, 4,000 square feet and then um, after five years we expanded to 9,000 square feet and so now we serve over 100 kids. We have a really amazing team of therapists, just organically. Most of my employees have been with me for a very long time and started off as technicians there and grew into behavior analysts. So we started a bunch of different programs within Elevate more than just our individualized one-on-one -on -one care. So we have a preschool program and then we also have, we just started this year, Elevate Academy, which is an Elevate elementary school program um, serving our elementary school kids so that they can get access to education while they're also receiving therapy at the same time. At Elevate, we do a lot of play-based instruction, and so it is completely motivated by the kids' learning. Um, so we have a ton of different spaces that the kids enjoy going into so that we can incorporate their play into our instructions. So we have a couple small rooms that have tables where we can work with them with very minimal distractions. The rest of them are, we have a sensory gym, and so they can get all their wiggles out and run and jump and play. And um, and then we also have a dark room, which the kids love. It's a really good sensory experience for them where they can relax, they can um, do different light experiments, all, all sorts of stuff. The playground is probably the biggest feature that we've been able to add whenever we move to our new space. We get to run and play games and play on the play equipment and yeah, have a lot of fun out there. Our next project that we're going to add is a social worker to our staff. Um, she would be able to not only provide counseling to families, she would also be able to provide a ton of really great resources to families that are often just lost. When our families come to us, they're lost as to what to do, how to proceed next in getting resources or um, just helping to better their family. And so having that access, I think, will really be helpful. Um, we want to help them in any way that we can. So right now we have our academy, we have the outpatient therapy, and we have parent support groups, and we just want to continue adding more for the community and how to access the community. 